This November, it feels that we're in for something very big. CBS is reporting right now as we speak that federal funding cuts are leading to earthquake monitoring centers going offline. Why would they turn the alarms off right now as seismic activity is, is peaking? It's getting a lot bigger. So they're saying this here on UAF and Alaska's news. Alaska's news source has learned that we are just weeks away from nine Alaska tsunami detection stations going dark. And they're going to begin to go offline about mid-November. However, Wes told me there are a few hundred of these stations in Alaska, so now on the surface, nine doesn't sound like a lot then. What Wes did tell me, though, is that many of these stations are some of the only ones which cover the Aleutian Islands, an area he called a breeding ground for tsunamis. People should be concerned about anything that degrades our earthquake and tsunami capabilities, anything that, uh, uh, that undoes some of the really hard work that's been put in through the year to make us safer in light of these events. And these cuts come amid a government shutdown. NOAA and Governor Dunleavy's office have not responded to our request for comment. Something don't feel right about this. They're not responding to them at all. Nine centers are going to go offline, right? So, and then guess what else is happening? All of a sudden, it's just shaking and shaking and over 300 earthquakes detected in Alaska. Oh, and now is the perfect time to turn this off. Where it gets really an escalation point. Yesterday, we was monitoring. You need to stay here and subscribe because we're going to still be monitoring stuff. There's stations we can look at still. We told you yesterday, we said... Look for California. Look for Texas. Next thing you know, that same location we spoke of, they were already getting hit on November 5th. We said this was going to be in proximity of the moon getting close. Midland, Texas got hit, an area that usually is not even getting hit. So if you were there, let us know what's happening, what you felt, how was it going? That's not the only thing, though. Right as all this start to happen, activities start to explode and things start to get sketchy. Seismic uh, detectors, the seismic shift scientists in Oregon are now sending out tsunami warnings. So I just don't feel right now like this. Some nerve rattling event here is taking place. And let's look at this. This came out November 5th. Scientists say it's not a matter of if, but when a major earthquake and tsunami will strike off Oregon coast. And something very strange is also happening underneath Alaska that I've pulled up and nobody's talking about this. But first, let's listen to what this scientist says, this geologist in Oregon's department. It has the potential to happen at any point in time. Um, and so it could be now, it could be tomorrow, it could be weeks from now, it could be years from now. That's the challenge. Um, but obviously the more time between events that points to uh, more strain accumulating and, and obviously a bigger earthquake um, eventually, the accompanying tsunami would be pretty substantial as well. This is, this is the time right now that I'm going to show you the next thing they're doing. They've been coming out on the public broadcast, y'all. Like, why, like, they want to do this stuff right at this point. They're saying seismic shift. Look at this. Then they're, like, showing the tsunami formation. There is somebody that is watching the waves because of the moon right now. And we were saying that the moon coming close, the tides, everything else is going to start to be affected. I'm not saying that we're going to see a tsunami hit at all. I'm not saying that. I'm simply saying that there is something very dark behind this because we got to turn them off at this point right now. And like we said, you can see the moon coming in at its like closest point to us. So, yeah, we're going to be affected in a huge way. Now, moving deeper into it and letting you see the person who's on the coastlines because you can see the waves starting to do the tidal shift right now off of Oregon coast. I don't like this that we've been hearing this right now. I don't like this. And I, don't, I wonder how y'all feel in the comment section and chat. And what have you been seeing? This person is reporting uh, in the area off Oregon coast right now. We'll give you the name of them right after this. 
And here we have king tides on our first day coming all the way up to the seawall. We have a very strong wind from the south, which is making it break messy and less organized. We're supposed to have higher tides later in the week. You still do not want to go down on the beach until the tide has shown that it can safely recede and that you are aware of any kind of sneaker wave warnings. There's supposed to be one inch hail coming in and rain, which is going to make this significantly worse right now. It's kind of weird watching this scene with a warm, sunny back, but it's not over yet. This is the first of three this season, so stay safe, stay dry, use your heads, enjoy the waves. Laura from Rocky World Gems, over now. All right, y'all. So if you didn't see when we were mentioning this, something huge you need to do. If you're new here, you're just tuning in. You're like, man, I really need to stay tuned up with what's happening. We're doing that for you right now. And if you look in the live chat, Earth Disaster Beneath Us, Professor warns. The professor came out and said the Ring of Fire was going to ship. 300 earthquakes detected. Something is happening beneath there. Don't leave yet because we're going to get into what that is. But if you were to go across JWTV channel right now, and that's what you should do after this video is over. You'll see multiple videos that we've put out that in the last couple of days have been actually manifesting in some way or somehow uh, because this is something the professor was looking at for 30 plus years. But why? Why in Alaska do they want to go there and underneath Alaska, one of the most unstable zones? Yes, people have been reporting that they're the ground is swallowing their homes in uh, Alaska. Did I say swallowing? I didn't say swall swallowing, not swallowing. But houses getting swallowed. And when we look at this, there was a, a project being done. Why in the world would they want to do a project that connects Russia to Alaska? This was talked about between Trump and Putin. And they said, well, you know what? We've been doing this for the last six months. Why you? So if it's so unstable there, then why are they doing this underneath the ground? It's a 70 mile tunnel that the Kremlin envoy says they started six months ago. And the study is such tunnel, which will be known as Trump Putin tunnel. Donald Trump said he thinks that the proposal was interesting. And so something is definitely happening beneath there. And then if this is a huge zone right now, where they potentially plan expansions, we got the military over there right now delivering all the different operations for the response to the disaster and everything else. But what if there was something else happening beneath the scenes here? What if all these earthquakes being reported is not just seismic activity? And what if there is a lot more than we know? And this is exactly why. We're about to dive deep, deep, deep off into this zone because somebody says St. Louis is prepping for a new Madrid on alert. We have to look at this real close. We're going to be investigating this. The professor actually has family that was living off in the Alaska area. And he, we can get into contact with him. That's why you're going to, need to stay here over the next course of days and weeks. But they're getting ready to leave us in the absolute dark about the tsunami situations. How concerning is it that the same organizations right now, this tells us that there is something definitely coming, something definitely is shifting. And you right now in the comment section, all of you in a live chat, you're going to be the first line heartland reporters of everything. So for new people tuning in, they're going to be coming back here and saying, whoa, we, these people actually are telling us stuff. So our obligation and duty is just as important. If you want to see vol uh, uh, um Earthquake stuff, VolcanoDiscovery.com has really good sources on that. And they even report stuff that has not even came out, like as far as being detected as a official earthquake. So like right here in Midland, Texas, we was like, oh, well, it's going to hit kind of over there. This one was an unconfirmed quake or seismic like event in Midland, Texas. And that was reported November 5th, 2025. We were saying like, oh, it's going to be a day after that. It was happening the same day we even said it. So we're going to be definitely diving deeper because why? Because now that things are going to go dark, 
this is going to give us also as community opportunity to start seeing what the government is doing. And I've seen that the Florida, that so many elites were moving to Florida. Uh, so many government officials, they're starting to go down there for some reason. Uh, after the New York situation with the governor, they don't want that new governor there. So they're saying like, oh, we're going to flee down to Florida. This is interesting because we talk about the Southeast being a primary zone where you could go against a Yellowstone situation if the ash fall is happening. Something is not right here. Something, everybody who's commenting in the live chat and even after this video is over is going to be really highly critical intel givers to the matter. Your location right now, drop it. What's happening? What's going on? If they're coming out in public meetings and news and they're telling us this stuff and they're saying, get ready and they're saying like, oh, well, off Oregon coast, we're going to give you some facts about tsunamis and everything else. This is whatever it is. This is a crisis event that we probably haven't seen in years that's coming. And every last one of you in the comment section have been telling me for weeks, I've been having dreams. I've been feeling like some. My children have been telling me some. My dogs and my cats have been acting weird. But remember the survival facts that you need to watch. If that ground start heating up, you're touching that ground, you see that bubbling off the ocean or any of these areas in these lakes that the activity start to peak a little bit more. You notice most of these sounds that's coming from deep down that you ain't been noticing. We need to get all that in because we're going to be here. We're here daily. We're here probably like six days a week. We're going to be on top of all this since they're shutting down things and turning it offline. We cannot afford I cannot afford to not be here because we'll have to get more information to you as this goes. So what you can do, if you're live right now, get the like to get this out even more. You can share it as well. And because we're creating this whole community team here that's going to be organized through these whole events going down. But you need to click the icon and look across all the videos on the channel, as many as you can watch, because we're really telling you exactly how to survive these events with exclusive intel, uh, investigative intel. Uh, we're going to be looking into radio chatter and more information that's coming out. But if you look in a live chat right now, you'll get that playlist to all those videos. The professor that was warned, warning about um, King ties are back up rivers, rivers, atmospheric rain makes it worse. Somebody just said in the chat. Definitely. So earth disaster beneath us. Professor warns, don't waste a minute of it because they try to hide all this information from you. It'll be on the left hand side there. You'll see it in the live chat. Thank you all for tuning in. We need your support in this mission of investigation.